Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeve. Welcome back to Guess. <laughs> All right. Last time we uh, we helped her. Uh, we uh, we helped the Inquisitor. There was some stuff involving the Watchers from the powers that be. Still not entirely certain what they mean by the powers that be, actually. Is it just like, you know, the government and shit? Or, is it, I don't know, it's sort of a nebulous thing. Anyways, and then we helped her, we involved in helping her get a uh, family reunion. I'm dead tired. Uh, which didn't go very well. Well, more so than they tend to. The, uh... Yeah. So now... Still don't know what's the deal with that whole... Uh, letter that I got from Burrick. I think that was just a red herring, which is annoying because it caused me no end of trouble. But now it's time to go to bed. Exhausted, and there's n there's fuck all else to do. Let's go. Probably should have just done this last episode, frankly. Ended it off with me going to bed, but I don't plan this shit out. You're lucky if I plan, like, two minutes ahead of me. What is with that goofy way they walk with their hands behind their backs and all? Ha! Gay! Alright. So yeah, let's go back. Maybe stop by a couple stores on the way back. Then we sleep and then we get stuck on a- on nothing. And then, I guess we use our... Then we can use our rifle, move on rifle to go and loot some of the scoured houses. That's my term for the uh, places that are... that had the infection, but, it, but it's burned out now. The ones with all, the, with all the ninjas in them. You can get stuck really easily in this game. I mean, it doesn't happen that often, but... It's quite aggravating. Sure, you can climb right up there, but not the other slopes, or fences are shit. I don't understand how this game decides what you can and can't climb. And we're back to, well, my place now, I guess. What are you still doing here? What are you, why are you here? My name is, my name is Ayan. I am a dancer, the daughter of Hook the Herdsman from the Boisa Kin. I'm even related to the Oyan's Menku Kin through my father's sister. Andre sent me here to look after the house and serve you. All right, stay. A swift and sharp maid would be useful to me, I suppose. I can I be a service? <laughs> nah. I'd make a dirty joke there, but it just rings hollow without Eva here. Alas. Alrighty then, let's take some drugs and go to sleep. As usual. Maybe I should I should store one of these vaccines. No sense keeping it keeping them both on me. But if I need if I feel the need to use both, something has gone very wrong. Alright. Four hours is usually good enough. 
Like, yeah, pretty much always. A little bit of exhaustion, but... The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. All right. The theater. Yeah. I got an itch. Uh, what? Okay, so every day at the end of the day, I get an achievement for surviving that day. This one was titled Eit Missa Est. Eit Missa Est? Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a Latin phrase. Basically, it means go, it is sent. What a strange thing to say. Hmm. Yo. Why do, we, why do so many people say that? Alright. The evening letter from the Inquisitor. Day 7. Yes. They... Yes, they've played a cruel joke on us. You know, Dankowski, there are costs involved in being who we are. People like us, ingenious to the extent of being dangerous, are always put on the front lines. They set us goals which are as pointless as they are impossible to achieve, in a desperate bid that we figure out how to deal with them. We are a low-value car which may, have, may be of use if it wins, and worth no regret if it is beaten. Having been made aware of this attitude, we have no choice but to avenge it. I detest hypocrisy, as do you, I believe. Let us make the hypocrites regret their sanctimony. <clears throat> Indeed. Their smug self-assurance is based on their deluded belief that we will not be able to carry out their orders. Did they advise you to deal with the plague in a manner your conscience would suggest? Do that, have no fear. I've been told to eradicate the disease at any cost, and as elegantly as possible. This is what they are going to get. We'll discuss the matter tomorrow, however. This was my desperation speaking. Burn the letter. Aglaia Lilich. Well. Alrighty then. Sounds good to me. Um. I don't know why I was set to that. But okay. Yeah. Place is infected again. Distressing. All right, a new day, day eight. Well, it hasn't properly started yet. That'll, that'll be in, at seven. But yeah. All right. First, let's head to the let's head to the cathedral. See if the Inquisitor has anything to say. Then we head to Vlad, young Vlad, to get a new map of the infected areas, and then we start. We, we start going around to the uh, tower districts. Stopping by various people. Oh yeah, the theater as well. Just in case this day's mind performance has any intelligible meaning. For once. Yeah. Go to the tower districts and... Use our rifle, because... Rifle... Seems to be able to one-shot one ninjas pretty reliably. Gonna need to repair it soon, though. Probably. I mean, it's not that low on durability, but... I want to keep it tip-top uh, tip shape, because... I'm fairly certain that affects the accuracy. I've been told it does. It didn't seem to with the revolver, but that might have might just be because the revolver just has shit accuracy in general. And I mean, it did kind of affect it. In that... Hmm. Yo. Have you met a courier on the way? What? Oh, courier. I thought you said courier. <laughs> The first part of this game is over, Bachelor Dankowski. Its meaning has been as follows. The powers that be gave you a task with a catch. To learn the truth. They set a definitive condition. This truth has to be nice. Your honor and the fate of your laboratory were at stake. Would you care to learn something? 
I'm always up for that. Go ahead. The Natic has already been destroyed. There's nothing left. The place itself is in ruins. Your research is in ashes. Your papers have been burnt. The wretched Telman made sure of it personally. And now I'm going to tell you about the law. God fucking damn it. Oh well. The, the pl- uh, uh, build, uh, the building can be replaced. The paper, uh, the research can be re uh, redone. The papers can be remade. The Natica is not dead so long as I survive. So, why not? Go ahead. In accordance with the law, the very logic of our world inevitably dictates the destruction of anything unnatural, anything that tries to break its own non-capitalized laws. The, the disease is nothing more than a tool. It is an instrument of inevitability. Hmm. Suppose that's probably accurate enough. It's reminding me of the concept of law in fallen London, actually. Uh, and yet I have sworn to destroy this enemy. Inevitability. Gruesome inevitability is our true enemy. An enemy that cannot be defeated by anyone, anywhere. And yet. The only thing you can do is get what's dear to you out of its way. Don't make enemies with inevitability. This preaching would have made more sense before the plague. Say what you will, but fighting this enemy is my duty, as it is yours. You're right. The second part of the game is beginning. Our current task is to remain true to ourselves. We'll keep the word we've given to the powers that be. Both of us. It wasn't just you, mind. We'll uncover the truth, take a foreign detail out of the mechanism, and stop the rot before it devours this land. We'll only have to find out how it started. And now we're back to the source now. Sources. It's always about sorcerers, isn't it? Uh, sources, isn't it? We can't get away from them. We sorcerers, if you pardon the lame pun. But sorcerers do not wield magic. <laughs> the source? I'll tell you where to look for the source. So, you think you're well aware of what the law is, aren't you? I think I am. Well, I think you aren't. Let me tell you about the law. It's not a state law, but rather a natural one. When mysterious evil emerges from non-existence, it's a clear sign that this law has been violated. Disease is a retribution for trespassers. It's an attempt to restore the balance. No! That's nonsense. Superstition. A mysterious evil... It, for one thing, the plague did not emerge from non-existence. It has a source. And that source ha itself has a source. The sources may uh, the sources of the evil might be bizarre and arcane, but they exist. It did not emerge from non existence. And disease disease is not a retribution for trespassers or whatever. It's just a natural part of life. It's just something that happens for reasons that we might not understand. That's just like death itself. Not some mystical thingamajig. And even, it, might, it might be magical for all I know, but that's a different matter from being mystical. Uh, it's... Mm. And whatever. Ba uh, attempt to restore the balance. What balance? Nature is not balanced to start with. Nature is defined by imbalance, flux, change. There is no balance to restore to. But yes, I can see where you're going with this. This town is a minuscule cosmos, and it's the cosmos for its inhabitants. It's too remote, too distant from the rest of the world to serve as an effective part of any other mechanism. So it's a mechanism in and of itself, a mechanism that's been disrupted. There must have been a flaw, a blemish, a redundant detail perhaps. I want to find it. <sighs> there's, okay, there's logic in that, I suppose. 
I mean, not necessarily. It's not too uh, too distant from the rest of the world to serve as an effective part of any other mechanism. Not necessarily. A lot of mechanisms, certain mechanisms can be very wide reaching, even into the stars themselves. But yeah, I agree. There need there mu there must be some source of this disruption that is the plague. A f hmm. Something that, because yes, there play uh, plagues usually spread because of some you know, flaw or blemish in the system, usually often due to something that they didn't really even realize, like uh, back before we had germ theory and such, uh, we had w uh, human waste getting into, or animal waste getting into the wells, and that caused cholera, massive cholera outbreaks. So yeah, I broadly agree with this part, part of your philosophy. Yeah, I see your point. Well, if the line of thinking you just demonstrated was sincere, I'd be willing to agree with you. We weren't given too much time, now were we? Also, wait a minute. Didn't you say that you already knew what, what the source was? Wait, so, there's a faulty detail in this mechanism of yours. Of ours. We only need to find it. Where do we start? What would you su suggest? Hmm... Good question. Polyhedron. Polyhedron. I, I don't. I don't know about the. About that. Hmm. I think it all seems to come back to the abattoir. The uh, yeah, because that's where. That uh, that is where. Isidore Burrick was when he got the plague, you know? Or when, we, when he was shortly before the plague was spread, rather. before Shortly before he died. Now, there's some... Now, of course, there's some ambiguity there. Like, what uh, was the plague spread by Isidore to Simon, or was it the reverse? And then, and the, in which case, it, uh, Isidore would have spread it to the abattoir. But that, that, that seems less likely. Hmm. But what's this about a well? Oh! The well that v young Vlad is around. He's mentioned hearing strange stuff in the well. Hmm. That's... Well, in my experience, in matters of... In... In, in horrible matters, look to the wells, always. Yeah. As I was mentioning, there's Calera, and then there's also Mr. Eaton and all that crap. Yes. There's the wells. Or there was a very particular well that's been bothering me for a while now. According to your notes, the disease might have sprung from below the ground. Am I correct? Indeed. Just like the previous plague epidemic. The, that epidem... Uh, epidem... Uh, Epidemiology... Uh, epidemiological hazard appeared in the south during coal mining, and the climate was comparable to the local one, by the way. Have you already checked water, specifically river water? <laughs> I've investigated the water hypothesis already, yes. Those frightened Luddites have even destroyed the town water intake, which led to a malfunction of the town's water supply system. We found ourselves in a world of trouble because of that. How about we check this hy hypothesis thoroughly, though? Before we get on with inspecting buildings, we need to make sure the disease was not waterborne. Wells, springs, the river, maybe a young new stream. Anything. Mm. Yeah, still, I believe the disease came from the outside, but not via water, but rather carried by a person, or an animal, perhaps. No, the cause of the disease is the world itself. I'll see. 
That's complete nonsense, but alright, we'll see. Care to tell me more about the suspicious well? Young Vladislav Olgimsky has a rather peculiar hobby. I've been told he's looking for old cultural layers. The remnants of an ancient culture or something. I've also been told that he's looking for oil. Neither explanation sounds convincing. When were you told this? What? What kind of person is he? A trustworthy kind, I think. He's been... Uh, aside from a couple of questionable actions towards the, the women of the town, he's been nothing but helpful. Aside from charging me for the map. <laughs> which is a bit rude. Is this the reason why you two have managed to get on until now? Without reaching the subject of the well? Yes. Investigate this further. Ask him. If he refuses to talk, well, there are a number of ways to inspire social interaction. And no, I'm obviously not implying torture. It just, it, it just may so happen that he suddenly gets in the mood to explain everything to you. He may need a fair hearing to justify his actions. Do you understand? You seem to know something already. Conjecture. Pure conjecture. And nothing but conjecture. The Orginsky's closet can barely hold a gigantic skeleton. And I can't really say I even care as to who had put it there. But here's what I'm thinking. What if the skeletons made such a ruckus out to cover for another one? Although, don't lose so uh, sleep over this one yet. <laughs> Either of you to say. Yeah. It's certainly uh, one of the best, uh, a good way to hide a something, uh, something horrible is to hide it under something merely scandalous. I've got a personal experience with that, but yeah. All right, sounds good. Subterranean rot. Aglaia has briefly studied the evidence and concluded that the bacteria are of mineral origin. Now that I think of it, it does sound, seem plausible. Young Vlad has agreed to help us follow up on this hypothesis. It's about time I've found out what he's using his well for. Ah, oh, of mineral origin. Hmm. It's interesting. It's an interesting idea, to be sure. Certainly a better one than the world itself being out there. Being out to get us actively. Okay, well, we are already planning to head over to Vlad, so this is just one more reason, I suppose. Unusually few of them today. And, and none of the really fast one so ones that chase you. That's interesting. I wonder if it means anything. You'd think it would, but I'm not even certain if these play clouds are even literally here. They might just be an abstraction. Ah, I got it. This place is scoured. Yeah, there was a disease the other day. So theoretically, I don't know if it's. Oh no, that'd be silly.
I wonder what the prices are like today. Well, that's a tad concerning. It is easier to govern others than to prevent being governed. Right. You, you undoubtedly have a lot of questions in mind, but they'll have to wait. Except for what? The most pressing and, dare I say, painful concern. The most pressing and, dare I say, painful concern. We've lost enough time as it is. The crud's not going to wait, is it? And your visit to the termitary. All in all, there's no point in putting it off. The crud? I'll have you know that a certain former of mine, a trustworthy source, despite being a worm, has told me that there's a flow of fake panacea coming out of the termitary. That, I'll be honest with you, this is encroaching upon my interests. It's encroaching upon all of our interests, I'd say. <coughs> People being scammed. And that's just, and that's assuming that fake panacea is just harmless dreck. Hmm. So I'm turning you, to you for help. This concerns you as well, after all. And what are your interests? It's very simple. Panacea will always be in short supply. That much is obvious. I didn't even know it had been created yet. Or are you talking about the white vaccine? My dear friend Burke, the highest authority on this, claims that he'll be able to produce, produce 15 batches at best. I'm interested in seeing them find their way into the right hands. Are you sure that a real panacea even exists? Oh yes, it does. Since yesterday. I've checked. The Inquisitor is aware, by the way, although it's been kept secret for now. For obvious reasons. Alright. And what do you know about those remedy makers? Truth is, the slime balls are backing themselves up with... Yes, your own good name. God damn it. Not this again. They claim that the recipe is yours, and even provide some, um, proof of authorship. I don't know exactly what that is, but really, your name is actually proof enough for the general crowd. They're rather naive. So I've noticed. And the heart incident has already become common knowledge. In certain circles, at least. The heart incident was Berg's handiwork. I had nothing to do with it. Well, in any case, they're procuring live hearts, of which there's no shortage in the termitary now, and preparing the potions right in front of their buyers. You can imagine the resulting product. I heard you loud and clear. So you set the thing they've set up shop in the termitary, right? My informer said that it's one of the long rooms in the long block. He hasn't seen it himself. Alright, I'll find the lowlifes, and then I'll return to you and we're going to have a long and unpleasant conversation. Indeed. Changeling knows something. Or she was promised something. So you have enough. That certainly does you credit. Why did you fill up your well with earth? Can I please just refuse to answer that question? If I am not mistaken, since yesterday, you're no longer the authorized envoy of the powers that be in the town. You can, but that would be the end of our cordial relations. You refusing would suggest a simple conclusion. You dug up some nasty thing that bred bacteria and are now burying the traces of your crime. I value our relations and their cordiality, Dr. Denkowski. You're not as far off the mark as I would have preferred. But I didn't bury anything. I filled up the well because it's no longer required. And that is as much as I'm going to tell you. Oh, so I'm not far off the mark, huh? I did indeed hide a certain crime I've committed. I believe that something nasty was indeed dug up and bred deadly bacteria. The only snag here is that those two insightful observations are not in any way connected. I don't- okay, I don't believe you. Tough luck, Doctor. I don't trust you. My confession wouldn't be of any use to you, but it could raise too much noise. You'll draw all the wrong conclusions. The consequences could be tragic, especially if the Inquisitor and the Commander get involved. Don't worry, I'll find a way loose in your tongue. Here lives an 
old enemy of the Ogivkis. Since they've decided to stand against me, perhaps Aspidy can be my ally for the time being. Perhaps. Though Aspidy doesn't strike me as a reliable all ally. Sorts of tongues and plays all kinds of kin all right. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. About the same as yesterday. There's this. Your work seems to be done. Not quite. One work is done, but another is only beginning. Not this again! Why do you insist on being so vague? Now is not the time for insinuations. We're going to have a common enemy tomorrow. What do you want from me? Cooperation! I have an ally already, and it's Artemy Burke. He acts in our family's best interests. As for you, you are now the Inquisitor's most trusted man. Are you implying that she doesn't trust Burke? She doesn't. Burke has unknowingly crossed her. In fact, if matters continue to develop as they are now, Burke's actions are going to spell Aglaia's death sentence. Unless you interfere, of course. I will, rest assured. Have you heard? That's not concerning the slightest. Those look more like logs than earth, actually. Ugh. And just when I was talking about how he was at least... He seemed at least vaguely... And just when I was talking about how we had a decent relationship. Bloody hell. Alright. Enough. It's time the Okimsi family came out into the open. I could easily find common ground with Aspidy, however disagreeable she may be. She is rather loquacious, and she lets slip the protector of the kin has an axe to grind with the Olginskis. Aspidy is not so good a liar that I couldn't see right through her. Indeed. Alright, let's go. I'll have to put off the rifle work until later. But that's not a. I'm not exactly upset about that. I'd rather put off combat in this game as long as possible, as long as practical. Even if having a rifle does make it a tad more convenient. Eh, this place is in infected. Which is a shame, since this place, when it's not infected, is a good place to get repairs. Ah, what? Oh, come on! What? Ugh, I've gone by those guys a million times, and they've never infected me. Do I have to go the other way or something? Oh, come on! What? Oh, just an impassable wall, apparently. Fucking what? what is this crap? It's just a... Okay, then I guess I just can't go there through there because there's a fucking toll gate. Uh, just will... This game just... Yeah, every day, this game... This becomes more and more blatant about just, ha ha, fuck you, you get hit and you get enough, and there's nowhere to stop it. Go fuck yourself and stop playing this game. I don't know why those, those cabinets are sometimes really hard to actually click on. Seems to be most of the case in the infected districts. Something's going wrong with the hitboxes, I think. Ah! Ah, my good man! There we go.
Hopefully there's gonna be some food here. I wanna see what prices have changed. 778. God damn it, what was it yesterday? Okay, so this would have been 600 yesterday. So prices have raised, but not by much. All right, sweet. Throwing all the cash I have on me at the moment is in my best interest to have the prices remain as stable as they can be. All right, Aspidy, are you gonna be helpful for once in your life? What's wrong with my eyes? That bitch. She has us all over a barrel. Sir freaking prize. What are you talking about? I know all the local bitches, alright? None of them can surprise me. Although, there are dark fibers stirring in Maria. But I'm talking about our yesterday, sweetheart. I forbid you to call Aglaia names, got it? Ha <laughs> ha, that was nice. So the two of you are getting along just fine. So what, are you another minion of ours now? What did she seduce- what did she seduce you with? I th I think you wouldn't be so starry-eyed towards the bloodsucker they were planning to send here first. No. No, I would not. I wonder, are female inquisitors allowed to sleep with men? I can't help imagining how she looks stripped of cover. Is she just as self-assured? I sure would respect anyone who could tame her. Alright, enough about your misguided lust towards Aglaia. We have important things to talk about. Also, Inquisitors can do whatever they want. They are the only ones to impose limits on themselves. Or, indeed, whoever they want. Uh, Aspidy, say, do you by any chance know what Vlad the Younger was digging out? Ah, the leech won't crack, thinks he's the smartest, and also he seems to think that he can get out of this deal and that well with his hands and his name clean. But that's fine. I know how to make him talk, all right. Oh my. How? <laughs> it's simple. Just reveal to the world all of those thousands of lives that have perished in a few days because of him. And to think that I, a simple girl that I am, blame the father. Shame. What a shame. What are you talking about? It was he who ordered to close down the termitary. He hid the truth from his father, blaming it all on some imaginary strike. He knew how to get to the old man. To make him mad. To make him damn everyone inside. So we... But Big Vlad knew about the disease. He found out eventually, of course. Took the fall for the air. He's done. He's old. He doesn't care about additional stains on his tired conscious... conscience. Whereas his son has a town yet to rule. And to be popular with. That's essential to ruling. <laughs> no shit. Has Vlad the Younger even had that kind of power? He is a nimble one, the youngling. He crawled into the kin's heart like a snake. Got us webbed, it got to know us. He started talking to the wardens. Oh yeah, he had that kind of power. Well, now he'll tell me everything I want to know. That'll sour his arrogant attitude quite a bit. Alright. There's a whole Stop with the swearing. <laughs> What's your profanity? <laughs> Let's see if this door will actually open this time. What is with the guards around here constantly tying their shoes? See? Aha! Here we go! Uh... Oh, hi. Oh, okay. Oh, there was a bunch of bodies. No, no they're actually live people. I thought these guys were going around killing people. Didn't surprise me. First time I ever met one, it attacked me for no good reason. What? What is with the fucking architecture of this place? What? What kind of shit is that? Ah. This. I sure hope this is leading somewhere. Ah! Hello! Burke! You were behind all this, weren't you? The Inquisitor has turned her gaze to the abattoir. No good will come of it. Well, like her gaze. 
Sh you shouldn't have come here, Oinan. It's dangerous here. You're not used to dealing with that. What are you doing here, Burke? I went to the abattoir and came back with something of value. Listen to me, Oinan. If my hope proves to be true, we'll have a serum by tomorrow. That's some news. So what was that thing you came back with? Blood. Blood again. I'm not ready to say where I got it. But it may very well be what Stark worked on. Only better. It's still alive. Look, if uh, look if it has, you know, what antibodies? Yes, anti uh, antibodies. You already know what living bacteria looks like, as well as dead ones. Stark told me all about that. I think it won't be too hard for you to establish what this blood does to the infection. So me, you just want me to examine this blood under a microscope? Just that? Whose blood is this, Burke? I can't tell you. I'm not going to have any business with a person who doesn't trust me. If you study this blood, Oinon, tomorrow I'll hand you a dose of the functional panacea. And if you prove this is the blood we need, might be I hand the panacea to you today. I trust your word. Is this convincing enough for you? Fine. Where do I find you? I'll be around here. Still have a hell of a lot to do. If there's no- if there's trouble, I'll let you know. Then we should meet in that basement of the corpulent workshop. The what? Alrighty then. Burrick file. Burrick gave me this blood-like substance to check. Blood-like substance? What? What an odd thing to describe it as. Anyways. What was that? I must be seeing things. Who is a fake panacea or hold up somewhere here in the termitary? Do you know anything about that? What? Someone's making fake panacea in here, but this is... Yes, an inconceivable villainy. Have you maybe noticed anything suspicious? Hold on a second. Some odong on the second floor asked for corpses of the freshly dead. They seemed to be looking for someone they knew. I took no notice back then. Apart from that, newcomer tr tramps went around looking for some room along that wall across the entrance. Dangled money. Which room? On the second floor as well? Damned if I know. I had a short way with them. Alright. Is that them under the sheet? Hmm. Alrighty then. Changeling. Tell me, how do I get inside the abattoir? The gates are blocked with boulders from the inside. When the time comes, butchers will roll them aside. You can find a way in after that. Wait for the right moment. Wait for the opportune moment. <laughs> and when the boulder, uh, and when are the boulders rolled aside? At what time? There was some kind of regularity, but I haven't cracked it yet. I tried to squeeze it out of the Mother Superior, but she's only fooling around. I can I never I can never understand if she's serious or not. Are they going to be open today? Inconceivable. A child ending up in such a position? I'm far more interested in how she manages to cope with all those horrors. These horrors. They don't let her out of her room though, do they? They do. I've met her in the other building. Thing is, she's not vile or heartless. She's simply from another era. Death does not frighten her. Why wouldn't she let me in? There's a massive butcher feud inside. They're fighting each other. Something displeases them quite a bit. I might have played a part in it. I'm afraid. The Mother Superior claims that everything should quiet down after midnight. Maybe about two o'clock they'll roll the away the boulder blocking the main entrance. They'll let you in after that if the Mother allows it. And if she doesn't? Then they won't let me in. Why are they fighting? Yesterday, after they were released, they had a council of sorts. Today, they split in half. My god, that's gruesome. Some demand the foreman's death. Others, it seems, want to have their way with Olgimski. In all honesty, I'm confused and don't have the slightest idea what's happening. The mother says there's a fierce battle in there. But you have been to the termitary before. Yes, I have. But don't ask me who, who led me in. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything, but way too many people died right in front of me these last few days. Not of the plague, but rather by malicious will of those too keen to execute their idea of justice. You know what I mean. Yes, I understand. The wound hurt. Alrighty then. So, second floor then. I think. Maybe. 
to the uh, second floor, close to the stairs, I think. This way, maybe? Nothing this way. Standing guard here? Or did he just happen to stop there? Okay, he just happened to stop there. Have I checked over here? No. Ah, here we go. What the fuck are you guys doing? I have no idea what voice to give this guy. Uh, Peace to you, Oinan. Peace to you. Live and live and let live, so say the wise. <laughs> Don't try to sweet talk me, Morlock. Fucking. Okay. Here you are, you can of worms. So, can I place an order? You're more than welcome. We're not asking much, merely 30,000. But for you, Oinan, it's free. Dead gruel, never better. All the rot comes out, all the evil hexes come off. Oh, yes, my good man. <laughs> Merely 30,000, huh? Are you sure you're not underselling, mate? I, I, Oinan, have mercy. Let us be. We won't sell anything anymore. We won't cook the gruel. You let us live. You don't turn us into the mother. We'll tell you an interesting something. You'll be pleased. S speak, then. If I like what I hear, I won't give you away. We're guilty. The boozer's son is twice as guilty. We just fool around and mess about. He, he's buying up the real panacea. Bought it from everyone who got one from Burke. Took it from everyone. Has it for himself. Shoot him, Oinan. Threaten him. Rob him. Take his panacea for yourself. Thank us. Where did he get real panacea? Only Burke can make panacea. Only Burke knows the lines. Burke gave his vials to Bardo's children. Gave to the booze. The booze's son took it all to sell to evil people, to bloodsuckers, for iron and gold. Have mercy on us, Oinan. Let us go, never again, until the earth takes us back. Fine. I'll tell the mother about this room, though. You have half an hour to get lost for good. Well. I like you. Well, would you look at that? Glad the younger has entered the panacea market. The man won't let a single penny past his purse. It occurs to me that he is no better than bad grief. I need to find out how he set up this trade. Could be the worms trying to frame him for their own profiteering. If you're wondering why I decided to let them uh, let them be instead of killing them, well, <laughs> it's. I could give you some feel about mercy or whatever, but honestly, I just don't want to have to deal with the combat mechanics in this game. <laughs> nice puppet. <laughs> Alright, we got that uh, dealt with. We can go back to black. For two separate things, in fact. And while I'm there, I can swing by Ruben the Prosectorium and examine this blood. What the? Jesus, what the fuck is this? A fucking conga line of people. <laughs> I didn't even notice the guy was chasing me, much less all the people chasing him. That was utterly ridiculous. I just look behind me and like 1200 people are following me. What the hell?
it. Oh, now that's different. That's a heck of a lot different. Hmm. Now that I've examined it, do I actually keep carrying around with me? I don't know. <coughs> I'm afraid to find out. Gee, what exciting gameplay. I've just got to stand still for 10 minutes. Waiting for it to just, you no know, vanish from existence. What incredible, exciting gameplay. Fucking retarded. Alright, Vladdy boy. I got two questions for you. What the fuck and what the fuck? Don't tell me that's not what you were expecting. So this is the person who's responsible for turning the termitary into a mass grave. Who told you that? It's not important. What's important is whether I'm going to relay that to the Inquisitor. No use denying it now. I knew that the truth would come out when the Termitary is unlocked. I just hoped I would have time before that. No such luck, I suppose. Hmm. Have time for what? A well and an epidemic. The concepts are inseparable, aren't they? Stories of the epidemics that happened during the Dark Ages always made mentions of wells. Vagrants were hanged for poisoning them. Infected meat was tossed there. Bucket loads of plague were dredged up. Yes, I've heard those these stories. As you can plainly see, there's no well in my there's no water in my well. It's empty. No one dredged up handfuls of poison from it. You can inspect the earth from the pile. The topmost layer of it belonged to the deepest underground one. It's just earth. Nothing out of the ordinary. Then what did you need it for? Oh, all right. I lied to you. Obviously, I'm not endeavoring to find oil here. The well is my first step towards a lifelong dream, an archaeological excavation. I'm interested in the ancient culture of the steppe people. I'm studying strata, layers. By the way, where did the taboo come from? Why is digging wells forbidden? It's not exactly taboo. According to a local legend, it's simply pointless. You won't find any water. The blood of the earth is hidden from the people. That's from one of the local myths. And it's true, we've dug about a hundred meters down and found no moisture. Fascinating, isn't it? Where do the springs come from, then? Oh, it's another curious phenomenon. I can't claim to be a specialist in this, though. But the builders, the ones who erected the tributary and the stone houses and earth, maintain that the springs are somehow enclosed in layers of solid, compacted clay with sand deposits, through which water is supplied as if through pipes. Don't lie to me, lad. I may not be a specialist in clay either, but I'm good enough at microbiology. The thing that's eating up your blood was born underground in mineral deposits. I don't know anything for sure. Moreover, I found nothing to support that theory. The earth in the well is clean, and the deeper I dig, the cleaner and denser it becomes. Pure sand and solid white clay. Why didn't you tell me of your suspicions? Because if my theory was prov proved to be correct, we would have had no choice but to raise the town's residential districts, wipe out everything between the abattoir and the Gorkin. Why? Why in the world? Over the years, the people have bored countless holes in the ground. All for naught, they always hit a layer of compacted clay. The town is full of the, uh, those dead-end burrows, those underground creep holes. Who would ever believe that they all came to solid rock like a prisoner's tunnel comes to a brick wall? That's not a good enough reason to give that order. I can't peek inside your head, now can I? Perhaps you wouldn't issue that order. But the general, who's arriving here with his forces tomorrow, wouldn't listen to you mumbling that it's nothing more than a theory. He'd just do it. I feel far from the truth. Can you swear to me that there, that there was nothing in the well? On your family's honor? Yes. You can have a sample and analyze it if you will. A sample of sand and clay. If it's necessary, I can even call my people and have them dig it up again. But honestly, you're going to need a deeper hole than that. I think I know how to find one. Well, that's concerning. Changeling knows something. Or she was promised something. Well, I found the worm poison makers, but they told me that you, Master Vlad, have also dabbled in the panacea black market. 
Yes, when I learned that Beric had concocted a panacea, I decided to completely seize the flow of goods. That's how the informers came to know. I requested it on purpose. Make no mistake, this isn't about greed. I simply thought it would be prudent to control this market. One would emerge anyway. <laughs> so your concern for the bound was only a disguise? Your, your were only concer ever concerned with turning a profit. Seems my old reputation will take a while to get rid of. Your knowledge is outdated, Bachelor. Things have changed. I have changed. This morning I wanted to seize the panacea black market, so I bought up everything that Burke has made and distributed. And? I gave away all that I had bought. No money. Well, a little money, so it wouldn't look like I'm offering a donation. I gave it all to the bound. The ones who needed it the most. In my opinion. Those who nearly died because of me. Who? I promise to keep their name secret. I'm wary of Clara, you see. She's very good at getting what she needs from people, both words and things. Well, one of them is Mark Immortel. He's not hiding it, but his situation is different. He's running a plague house, after all. But you have spared at least one for yourself, I hope, haven't you? I need neither money nor protection from death now. The latter because I want to give the plague an opportunity to push, punish me for my acts. And the former... Please spare me from your... Oh, spare me your mockery. It's because I now aspire to something. Call me sentimental. I won't reveal it. I don't want to scare the dream away. Give me serious food for thought. Thank you. Alright. There's this thing. Alrighty then. Interesting. What strange, what strange hydraulics in this town? What strange geology in this town? Everything about this town seems strange. Uh, sorry, that's a... Uh, OBS ran out of disk space in the middle of recording. This is me the next day. So, fortunately, I was ne I was almost done. Just had to go to the theater. I know how celestial bodies work. I know the logic of numbers. Yes, mom. Solid bodies drown in water. It's a law. Life breaks into particles and is reborn again. It is a law. Do you see now how many mysteries the Earth holds? The more terrifying the mystery, the deeper it lies. And the fewer wells can reach them. You can trick anyone. Anyone but me. The emissary of the powers that be. I know how this world had been built. I know how its life works. I know the laws it operates under. It's supposed to be very simple and proportional. True, true, ma'am. That's what it's supposed to be. True, true, ma'am. That is what it's supposed to be. So let it be. It's not the end of the world. It's just an epidemic. It's gone out of proportion. The law will prevail. I'll restore the balance. Not all is lost. I know where the root of this evil lies. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. That was about as useful as usual. That is to say, not at all. Very dramatic camera angle. What the fuck do they mean? <laughs> Anyways, let's go talk to Mark. This motherfucker. Even the wisest of men may be so indifferent in ordinary matters, but they are seldom so in their most serious affairs. No shit. See who my audience is now. They rarely applaud, they never call encore. But they also never boo us. And, as you can see, we have a full house every night. <laughs> Indeed. Tell me, has, the, has Ogimsky the Younger really sold you several vials of panacea? He didn't even sell them. 
He gave them to me basically for free. Or maybe for a token payment. You know, I never expected something like this from him. I would suspect an intricate and crafty scheme on his part. But I think I have also changed. So I believe him. Incredible. I'm sorry to suspect he's in league with you. <clears throat> he isn't. First of all, I also believe in lofty ideals. Don't tell, uh, let anyone tell you otherwise. The salvation is not about the panacea. The panacea is transitory. But I recently came to realize something that has blown me out of the water completely and made me reevaluate my worldview. So, I believe in Vlad's transformation. What did you realize? The fate can be overcome. Yeah! It, that it fucking can. I'm so tired of all this. You know, many people consider my shows to be mere tricks. But I know that's untrue. They are daily reminders of predetermination reigning over us. It's depressing. But now I see that a miracle is not completely impossible. Please, go on. What makes it possible? It's the tower. The only thing that leads the plots of my performances astray is the tower. The tower and everything that has to do with it. Those are the only things that cannot be tossed and turned and manipulated like puppets. A miracle overcomes the inevitable. The tower can do miracles. It all makes sense. I'm not sure it does. You will still have an opportunity to ponder it. The tower is an ambiguous phenomenon. There's no need to rush to conclusions. I have, as you can see, fallen in love with it. I think of it as my safe haven, but you should keep a cool head. I don't know if I want to. That's how many stunning discoveries I've made today. Oh, undoubtedly. Okay, so tell me at least who else Vlad the Younger shared Panacea with. Oh, fine. He gave it to the girls, to Yulia, Lara, and the third one that begs to keep her name secret under any circumstances. It's Anna Angel, isn't it? Think of them as a three par se. I see. Thank you, Mark. What is going on? Story of this game. Are they playing tricks on me again? It shouldn't be too hard to tell. Mark gave the panacea to those whose lives are in most immediate peril. Namely, Lara, Yulia, and some individual who expressed a desire to make incognito. Honestly, she didn't have to take the trouble. This individual... Anything else to say? The format. No? Okay. Alright. So. Yeah, we're heading then. We got to, uh... <clears throat> we got swing. Uh, we want to swing by Laura and Yulia and Anna Angel. Talk to them. See if they have anything interesting to say. Swing by the pub as usual. Get some coffee. Then swing back over to the cemetery to return with the stuff about the blood to Burke for that precious panacea. And then, yeah, see if I can figure out a way to get to the abattoir. That might, if that necessitates waiting for a specific point, well, then I'll just swing back over here and use my rifle to cut down the ninjas so I can loot the scoured district. So yeah, we have our heading for next time. Until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers.